we discovered a serious breach of security. The information contained within the walls of this building is of a highly sensitive nature. Trying to obtain it is a crime. A nice house you clean in Dulwich. Would it really be so terrible if you forgot to lock up after yourself tomorrow? I'm not letting you steal from people who trust me with their homes. Well, at the moment, you're stealing from us. Yeah, it's bailiffs, court earrings, God knows what else. I found this earlier in Blake's office. That's the phone he's been using to call his contacts, wasn't he? There'll be all kinds of deals we don't even know about. One there. So who are you? You're my friend of Blake's. You got a name? Nancy. I think you should meet with Graham. Think about the girls. What would they do if something happens to you? <sighs> Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Pleased to meet you too. So we're just waiting for one more. Sorry I'm late. I had a nightmare getting away from work. This is Nancy. She's been helping Blake with the investments. Really? This is the first I've heard of this. Since when? For quite a while. Nice to meet you. Have we met before? I, I recognise your face. No, I don't think so. Maybe Blake introduced us. Yeah, maybe. Whatever. Look, what is the latest with Blake? Well, he's been suspended pending an investigation, so you should definitely steer well clear. But don't worry. The FCA are not going to find out. I'm making sure of that. I am worried. And if this turns out to be a problem for me, then I will take care of it myself. Understood? Look, why don't we just order some food, then we can get down to business. Thanks. Right, as Blake probably told you, the Health Trust is selling off Southwark General Hospital. What are they going to do with it? Well, that's what we'd like to know. Blake didn't mention this to you? Yeah, sorry, he did. He just didn't say which hospital it was. Well, as you know, there are three leading contenders bidding for the contract. We don't know which way it's going to go. Morgastines are the ones that piqued our interest. Small cap firm trading around four or five pounds a share. They've got plans to convert it into this five-star hotel. We think something like this could triple their current share price. If we move quickly, that is. What's the decline line? Did you check? No, I didn't. Nancy? Hmm? The advance, was it up or down? It was up. Shit. See? Room and bills already starting to spin. If we block trade on this, what kind of exposure are we looking at? Well, without Blake, it could be quite substantial. How much can you get away with? Oh, well, that depends. How much were you thinking? Uh, 20,000 at least. That's a lot of money, but I think that's OK. 20,000 shares. I'm looking to invest a quarter of a million on this. Yes, I know. Of course. <laughs> How do you know Blake again? We used to work together. So Blake's been at Kramer & Lowe now for what? For about eight years? Is that where you met? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I worked there a couple of years ago. Must have been before my time. I guess so. <laughs> so the hospital board are meeting this week to vote on which firm they're going with. Blake had a contact on the inside. He was going to let us know the decision before it went public. Do you know who that is? I don't, but I do have some people of my own. Maybe I could try and find out. I'd have to make it worth their while, though. How much? 50,000. <laughs> Absolutely not. 50,000? No, I'm not interested. Would they take 30? Since when do we pay more than 10? It's a lot of money, but I think this deal could be <sighs> huge. I'm keen to move on this independently if you're not interested. Your money. I could ask. I'd need some evidence, of course. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. What's 
Nancy, where are you going now? I, I, I was just going home. It was nice to meet you. Where do you live? Um, I'm in Dulwich. Seriously? Yeah. Me too. Whereabouts? Do you want to split this cab? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm by the gallery. Hmm? Very nice. That's not far from me. Jump in. Thank you. It's kind of you. I really feel like I've met you before. I just can't place it. No, no, I don't think so. So you worked at Cromer Lowe? That's right, yeah. And what year did you start? Oh, um, well, I can't think of it. Uh, well, it was before. Lake, so nine years ago. How long were you there? Uh, a couple of years. Where are you now? Now I do a lot of um, consultancy work for individual clients. So how did you get involved with Swanee and Graham? Working in compliance, a lot of things passed you away, and I just... Well, I just discovered it was far easier to act dumb and turn a blind eye than give myself a headache. Mm -hmm. For a price, obviously. So you married? Kids? Married, two boys. How about you? No, to both. I enjoy my own space too much. <laughs> Nancy what, by the way? I didn't catch your surname. Oliver. House. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, I've only got ten pounds. No, that's okay. I'll pay the rest. Okay. Thank you. Wow, great meeting you. You too. I'll just wait for you to get in. No, 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 that's fine. I, I, you don't have to do that. No, 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 don't be silly. I'll wait here. Right. <laughs> Good night. No. So, they are selling off Southwark General Hospital. What? Getting rid of it, turning it into a hotel or something. You were born there too, right? But yeah. God, that's a shame. I know. But you got through okay? Nobody was suspicious? No. Nope. Imagine they knew you were a cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so, who was it? I just... Graham and Tony. Hey, you all right? Did you find out anything? Look, let's, uh... Let's not talk here. Come on. There are three property firms bidding for the contract. One of them is a firm called Walker Steens. If they win, their share price could triple in value. They're meeting this week to vote on it. So when are they going to find out? They're not. We are. We are? What? Why? Because if we do, Swanee is going to pay us £30,000. 30000 pounds. 30, Exactly. And just think, if we invest that and it triples, that's 30,000 each. <laughs> so we get inside the health trust and bug meeting room. Is that what you're thinking? Mm -hmm. well, how? I'm not sure yet. I haven't figured that bit out. <laughs> Speak later. I have to go. 
Ah, uh, I don't know. Look, there's one thin bug in the office here, but breaking into another building. Well, I thought we agreed. <laughs> this is our way to beat the system and to pay for your van. Yeah, but this is like an actual crime. No, we're not hurting anyone. <sighs> oh, look, I, I probably should have told you this before. But uh, well, Dave stopped paying the rent on the house. I can't afford it on my own. What? Look, I really need this, OK? 30000 is a life-changing amount of money for me. I know it is for you, too. I don't want to do it without you. OK. <laughs> <laughs> PA, uh, he's written me as a meeting this week with the Health Trust to talk about Southwark General Hospital, but he hasn't written down when, and I can't get hold of him. 5 p.m. tomorrow. OK, perfect. Thank you so much for your help. Bye-bye. You know, the largest mushrooms in the world are two and a half miles long and they grow on the Blue Mountains of Oregon. It's actually more of a fungus, but... Just the thought of it is enough to turn my stomach. Why's that? Oh, yeah, I don't think I told you, but I've got mycophobia. It's a morbid fear of mushrooms. Watching you eat them right now is actually making my stomach feel very queasy. Thought I'd drop this around. Lily left her house. Wait, well, thanks. Actually, Sam, I wanted to talk to you about Lily's party. Beth and me were talking, and she was wondering if Lily might like to go to Jump Zero or something this year. Trampoline Park. And we always have a house party for Lily's birthday. Yeah, I know, but maybe I and Beth could take her, some friends, and. You can't afford the rent on this place, but big fancy parties at trampoline parks, they're okay, are they? It's not quite the same, is it? I'd really like it if you came as well. Would you? Sam? Yeah, well, I've got to go, OK? I'll let you know what she says. Isn't she one of the cleaners we interviewed from the trading floor? Christine, where did you say you found this USB stick? It was on my desk. She could have left it there by mistake, I guess. She doesn't clean on your floor, though. I reckon we speak to that cleaning supervisor. Hang on, the CCTV footage you watched, didn't you say there were cleaners hanging out outside your room before the alarm went off? Frances. What? Oh, hey. Yeah. You don't think they set the alarm off on purpose so they could cancel the floor, do you? Um. Listen, I've got a meeting now with HR, but I'll see you back here later. your dad earlier and he was wondering if you'd like a jump zero party this year for your birthday really i can have a trampoline party yeah that's what you want oh my god it's gonna be so amazing yeah jump zero would be lots of fun but how about we have a little house party that like we always do no i'm okay but well, you wouldn't want a big fancy dress party harry potter theme maybe well i'm not sure yet how many people can i invite as many as you want you can dress the house up with giant spiderwebs and pumpkins and all sorts 
Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> Can I invite Dad and Beth? Oh, uh, yeah. I can ask him. Mum! Oh! This is Jake. What's going on here, then? Hi, Mrs. Cook. Nice to meet you. You must be Lily. I like your dance costume. Hey, you haven't been sitting on my sofa like that. S sorry, I... I've just finished work. Uh, Jake's just started training to be a mechanic. Oh, has he now? Right. Well, good for you. Yeah. Anyway, um, I should go. I need to get out of these dirty clothes. Nice to meet you. Come on, Lily. Let's get these bags unpacked. Bye. <sighs> Mum, can I have my sweets? Mum. He's nice. I like him. What was he doing here? What? Nothing. Just thought it'd be nice to show him where I lived. Maybe you should ask next time. I'm sorry, I didn't realise it'd be such a problem. Isn't it nicer this way, rather than me sneaking around trying to hide things from you? Hiding what things? Nothing. It's not me who has anything to hide. By the way, some woman came round looking for you, said she was a friend of yours. What woman? She was asking what you're up to now, said her name was Frances. What did you tell her? That you worked as a cleaner in Canary Wolf. What's the problem? Um, look, I need to get ready for work. Can you finish unpacking, please? What's wrong with Mum? Nothing. She's fine. Why don't you help me unpack some things? Hmm? from Dulwich to the Isle of Dogs. So whose house was it? I know who you are. I know you're a cleaner. OK, so let's just get that straight right now. Am I, though? It could be anybody. No. I ran some checks on you with HR. I know where you live and I know that you've worked here for the past five months. I know you've got two daughters, Alice and Lily. You've got a background in... Dance, the musical theatre. I know that Alice went roller skating for her 30th birthday and last year you got Lily a disco ball for Christmas. I know that because I have this. OK, so what? Maybe I'm a cleaner. You're a crooked compliance officer taking backhanders from clients. Where's your proof? Why should I tell you? The listening device, that was you. That's how I know about you, Graham and Swanee. And that's how I was able to meet with them last night. You haven't got anything on me. And I know you're involved now. So what? You're not going to go to the police because it wouldn't benefit you to do so. Neither am I, for the very same reason. That info on the health trust you promised to get Swanee, how would you do that exactly? Well, the same way I found out about you. I'm a cleaner. I'm invisible. OK. Well, assuming you can do as you say and assuming that Swanee pays you for that information, you'll give me half. <laughs> and why would I do that? Because you need me to protect you from this. You know, my colleague, John, he seems to think this is connected to the fire alarm incident from the other day. He thinks some cleaners triggered it on purpose to gain access to the research department. So if you want me to convince him otherwise, you'll pay me half the finder's fee. Understood? Hey, 
Where have you been? Uh, um, I was a uh, little late leaving the house this morning. Yeah, well, Victor's in there with me now and he's waiting for you. Why were these photos found on a computer in the research department? Oh, um, uh, this is really easy to explain, actually. You see, Mina was violently ill that day. Coming out both ends, it was. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she tried to battle on, but... Well, she got caught a little short and she... You know. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't need to hear the details. How did this get into the research office? Mina rang me to get some clean clothes for, you know, and I was in the area anyway, getting some photos printed. That's why I had my USB stick. I guess nice to have pictures hanging on the wall, you know? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I said I'd finish her shift for her, and I must have um, left it behind. I mean, she was so embarrassed about the whole thing, that's why I didn't want to say anything before. Is it true? Did you make a mess in your underwear? Did you really have to say that? What else was I supposed to say? Oh, what happened? Nothing. You did? Just getting in the mood board for my van. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, well, I thought, you know, if you're going to get 30,000, I should think a little bigger. Oh, yeah, um, about the 30,000. Uh, I spoke to Swanny earlier, and um, he might have changed his mind slightly. He's only going to give us 15 now. He can't do that. He just thinks it's too much money for something that's not a sure thing. Look, come on, 15 grand is still really good. If we invest that, we're looking at maybe 45. Uh, yeah, you're right. You know, 15 grand is still a lot of money. When is this meeting? Oh, uh, yeah, so I spoke to the health trust earlier. The meeting is happening at 5 tomorrow at their offices in conference room 3. OK, so what's the plan? Well, I was thinking we could turn up sometime in the afternoon and just say we're the cleaners. I'm pretty sure they're going to know who their own cleaners are, babe. Well, they might not. Well, see, that's the problem with you. You always want to wing it. We need to have a proper plan. Go on, then. I, I don't know. I think it needs to be something where, you know, they'll invite us in because you're offering some kind of service. Like what? Mum, can I talk to you? I haven't got time right now, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Me and Jess have got a big job on and I need to leave. What are you doing with that? Ladies Night Casino, Ladies Night Casino, Bet You Can Casino, Lucky Lena Casino, and on and on and on. Every day for months. How did you get on my laptop? I know your password. Mum, I'm only trying to help you. Jake's uncle is an alcoholic and he says accepting you have a problem is one of the first steps towards tackling it. Oh, that's who put you up to this, was it? Jake told you to go on my no, laptop. No, of course not. We don't have a gambling problem, OK? I have a little flutter now and again. And I'm certainly not addicted, if that's what you think. Just go on when I'm bored. Mum, sometimes you go on over 30 times a day. And you're betting on the stock market as well now. That's what it looks like anyway. And so what? OK, maybe you're right. It's just a harmless hobby. Something you do to kill time. Yeah, that's right. The cleaning isn't very fulfilling and this is like a distraction. Yeah. That's how a lot of women start gambling. They do it because it's escaping from the stress of their own lives. Yes, they're nearly bad. <laughs> Where's Glenn with the car? He's not back yet, but he'll be here any minute. Can we wait outside? Yeah, sure. Where are you going, Mum? I thought it was your night off. Oh, it was, but I have to work now, darling. I'm sorry. Come here. You be a good girl for your sister, OK? <sighs> Mum, <sighs> I'd really like it if we went to a group, one where family members can go too. It might be a waste of time, but can we do it for me? <sighs> Look, darling, I don't need to go. But if it will stop this nonsense and make you happy, then maybe. But there's one on Friday at 6 o'clock. OK. I love you. Oh, what the hell is he? Oh, here he comes. Come on. Hey, Jess. Yeah, hey, Glenn. Where have you been? We've got some half an hour ago. Sorry, um, I had to speak to my tutor and then, well, I went to Nando's. Sorry. <laughs> OK. Well, I've got to run. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll make sure I bring it back in one piece. It's got five. Hasn't the meeting started already? Let's hope not. How are we getting in? 
Go ahead, finish. Try one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can I help you, ladies? Oh, well, she's certainly a beast. I'm surprised you girls ain't done your backs and lugging this around all day. Well, we're stronger than we look. <laughs> yeah, and we should probably get going. Maybe we could um, start in the main office. What do you mean? Oh, that's why we're here, to polish the marble flooring. But there ain't any marble floors in the main offices, just here. Well, I guess we'll do out here then. Great. Look, I'm interested to see this thing in action. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, do you know, I just remembered I, f I forgot to bring an extension cable. You don't have to spare one, do you, please? No problem. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? I'm going to find the meeting room. When he comes back, just say I needed the toilet. Here's one extension cable. Thank you. Wasn't there three of you before? Toilet. Is this the hospital meeting? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you know what they said? No. How would I know? Did you do it? Were we too late? No, nope, we weren't too late. Did you get your phone in there? No, I didn't need to. I could hear him talking from outside the room. Really? So, what's happening? Who's getting planning permission? Is it Walker's things, yeah? Yeah, it's them. <gasps> <laughs> We're on! <laughs> Can do. We have to hurry up if we want to get this done before the Gamblers Anonymous meeting. Oh, I, uh, I need to, um, I need to pop out for a little while. We have to be at the community centre at six. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, um, Glyn can watch Lily and I'll, uh, I'll meet you there, okay? Mum!
I've been waiting here for like half an hour. We got an answer. How did you get this? I can't reveal my sources. I could only get 15,000. What? Yeah, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but circumstances have changed. I do hope it's not going to be a problem. Well, it doesn't look very good, does it? No, it doesn't. Please extend my sincerest apologies. I'm sure someone like you can smooth things over. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Sorry, OK? I really wanted to go. It's just I had a job on this evening that I'd forgotten about. Oh, Lily. Sorry. Go and get the dustpan and brush, please. I think it's in Glynn's room. I'll go to the next one, though, I promise. OK? Did you get that, um, happy birthday sign finished, Lily? Oh, Alice! You're up and about, you look great. Oh, thanks. Oh. Where's the birthday girl? Well, I think she's up there. She's. Oh. There she is. <laughs> hey. oh. Oh. Are you excited about your party? Yeah. Come here, you. Look at this place. <laughs> oh. Your mum spoilt you again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> did she get you something for being a clever girl at school? Oh, yeah. A troll doll. All right. Well, uh, here's a little something for your birthday. Your dad says he'll pay that into your savings account for me. What did you say, darling? Thank you. Here, Lily. Beth's got you something as well. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> 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 I hope you don't already have that book. It's got some really great artists and painters in there. Maybe we can look through it together sometime. Thank you. Come well, look. Wow, it's nice, isn't it? OK, we're excited! Yeah! OK! Are you ready? <laughs> What's it supposed to be? I've no idea. Mary, darling, there should be a broom handle behind your chair there. Well, have I sat on it? Yeah. Oh, no, there it is! That's it. Do you think that's a good idea, to get Lily waving that around while she's blindfolded? Should be all right. <laughs> OK, come on, then, we're all going to help. Yeah. On count of three. You ready, Lily? <laughs> Mum. Spin around. One, Mom. two. There's a man called Wonder Wizard on the phone. It's all right. I've got this. OK, be careful. <laughs> you got... Three, Thanks, three, 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 three. Oh, not too fast, not too fast. Hello? <laughs> no, no, you've got to be kidding me. 
You can't cancel at last minute on a nine-year-old girl. What am I supposed to do now? I've got you that money. I'll give it to you later. Well, that's absolutely no use to me now, is it? <sighs> okay, whatever. Bye-bye. What's wrong? The magician's cancelled on me. Oh, no. Is there anyone else you can call? Glenn? Come in. Sorry to disturb you, but I need your help with something. Um, first of all, and I probably should have said something about this before, but um, my husband's downstairs, and he doesn't know anything about you living here. You're not supposed to be this complicated. So if, if I see him, then why should I say I'm here? Well, that brings me to my second point. My magician's just cancelled on me, and I wondered if you knew any of your old tricks. <laughs> well, um, just, just a few. It's just... Lily was so excited. Okay. Oh, oh, great! Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Um, we just need to um, dress you up a little bit. Oh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Afternoon, Shane. We're just here to collect a few of your things. No, no. I told you this would happen. Now you need to let us in so we can do our job. Look, no, I'm, I'm right in the middle of my daughter's birthday party. Please. Bad timing, I guess, but we're coming in unless you want us to call the police. No, please don't do this. Oh, sorry. No, look, wait, 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 wait. I've got some money I can give you. If, if you just send your people away, I'll bring it out. Please. I'll be right back. Sam, there's juice spilt on the carpet. Yeah, there you go. Where's this money? I told you to wait outside. Look, there's five grand there, OK? You happy now? But please, just leave me in peace. Still owe me 12. Have a think about how you're going to sort that out. Lovely. Should be fine. Who is that? Oh, it's um, just one of the dads from school dropping off a present for Lily. Yeah. Okay, Lily, I want you to take these marbles and drop them in on the count of three, okay? One, two, three, drop. Shake it around <laughs> and say the magic word. Alakazimbra. Alakazimbra. <gasps> wow. wow. Where, where, where are the marbles? Where did they go? Oh, Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily's here! There we go. Mum, are you OK? Is it about yesterday? Not going to the group? It's OK if you got scared. I guess it's a big step to do something like that. I'm so proud of you. I hope you know that. <laughs> Should we go back in? Come on in. Oh, uh, sorry, kid. Didn't realise you were there. Yes, I'm just having trouble with this, this beard. Oh, well, let me see. It's just, it's just there. Ooh. Yeah, that is stuck on. Pretty tight. Why don't you take a seat? <laughs> Maybe if we just pull it slowly. <laughs> when we're going now. You can't go out like that with all chocolate around your mouth. Here. <laughs> you have a good time. Thanks for my party. Did you enjoy it, yeah? Oh, I'm so happy. And <laughs> you have a good time you're here. Be careful on those trampolines though. <laughs> See you later. Love you. See you in the car, yeah? Come on, guys. So you don't want to come? <laughs> no, no, it's OK. I've got to clear all this up. <laughs> By the way, I was working on some one-bedroom flats just around the corner. Could be ideal for... you know, when... What would I need one of them for? I'm staying right where I am, thank you very much. All right. Well, uh, we'll drop her off around seven, yeah? Yeah.
And Sam, Sam told me that you're saving to buy a van. It's going to take a while. The conversion costs are a lot more than I thought. Ow. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, uh, if you wanted, I could help you find a van. Maybe even convert it for you. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm good with um, electrics, uh, welding, bits of plumbing. <laughs> I wouldn't charge you, of course. Um, you just need to get the bits and pieces together and I can do the rest. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Thank you. That would... That would actually be amazing. <laughs> Great. Where should we put these? I'll just leave them there. I'll take them out in a bit. Has everyone gone? Yeah. So... Where's the money? Oh. <laughs> Where's yours? Oh, upstairs. <sighs> we should invest this in Walker Steens as soon as possible. I'm going to set up a separate account. Mina, you should do the same. No, maybe you should just use it for things you want, like your van and whatnot. You said we could triple our money if the deal goes through. Well, if the deal gets announced. What do you mean if? You said you heard them. I did, yeah, but, I mean, things could change. Why would they change? No, no, you're right. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so, I've just been talking with Max from IT about that USB incident. What? What for? I didn't tell you to do that. Well, no, but I thought with that fire alarm, you know, maybe there was a data breach, something like that. And? He checked the logs from when the fire alarm was activated. Someone went back into the office, printed out Christine's entire research document. Maybe we should have another chat with that cleaning supervisor. Hey, babe. You all right? Yeah. Hey, so listen, I was just chatting with um, Pete from down the pub, and he said he'd sell me his van for 1,500 quid. But he needs the money cash in hand, so I was thinking, you know, maybe you could transfer me the money from your savings. Could be good for us. No. I'm not still thinking about that coffee shop on wheels. Yeah. It's my money, and I'm going to do whatever I want with it. The market's closed, I'll have to wait and see in the morning, but it's happened, I can't believe it. No, no, neither can I. Even though you heard it and we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. I still can't believe it! <laughs> Hey, Victor, did you do something different with your hair? It looks good. Compliance thinks some cook print documents in this department and you help her. You will tell me what you know, or you will be out.
Well, if you've been a